So let's do one called Motion Sketch. So new comp. We're going to title this one Last Name, First Initial, Motion Sketch. 1287.20, 5 seconds duration. OK. Let's go to make this standard and reset our standard workspace. Make sure we have our selection tool or V. Now, we want to use the shape tool for the beginning of this. We're going to first draw a small shape. So get the shape tool, which is right up here, and we want to get an ellipse tool. We're going to draw a circle. Make sure the fill is red and no stroke. Hold down Shift to constrain the proportions and draw just a nice small red circle. There we go. Now press V to get your selection tool again. Now we're going to use the motion sketch which is actually a window here. So you go down here and you see there's motion sketch. There are different settings. We're going to use a capture speed of 100%. We're going to change the smoothing to 20% because when you have no smoothing at all, you get a keyframe for every single frame. The wireframe is good. Start at zero, duration five seconds. So this is a real time capture. Once you click on it, you only have the five seconds that you have in your timeline. And you will be able to see the CTI moving as you are pulling this around. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the circle and drag it around in smooth curves using most of the frame. Okay, I'm going to move it to the middle before I start. I'm going to even turn on my guide so I can see where the middle is. And now, once I start the capture, I only have that five seconds. And let's play that. Okay, so that's motion capture. Let's lock that layer so we know we've got it finished. Now we're going to put in a new layer and we're going to make it a text layer. So let's go to layer, new layer, text looks just like it does when you double click on the T, but it's just another way to do it. Now let's type the words dancing and text. Now there is another way that you can get your text to follow a path, and that is to create a, a path in After Effects. Now when you use your, your shape tools, your pen tools, it will create a mask or a path if you have selected one of the layers that is existing. So you select your existing layer, and then select the pen tool, and we're going to draw a curving path. So I'm going to click once in the upper left, and I'm going to come down near the middle, and I'm going to click and drag to create a curve. And then I'm going to come down to the lower right and I'm going to click again. 
and there's my path. Now in the dancing text layer of your timeline, let's check under text and under the path options and let's choose mask one and it puts it right there, right where you began. And now once again, we're going to use the align left, get on the left margin. If you don't have it yet, click on align left. Then you will want to use the first margin. So click on the keyframe to start keyframing, start the, the timing for the first margin, and then come down to four. And now you want to drag the first margin setting until the words go all the way down to the end of the path. And let's save that. Let's preview it. Okay, that's nice, but it could be more fun. So let's go back to the beginning and let's twirl up the triangles. And now we're going to twirl down the triangle so we can add a text animator. So let's go to text and animate. And let's select a scale property. And let's twirl down animator 1, so the range selector. And there's the scale. Now we want to set the start and end to only change one character. So first let's unlink the chain link for scale and let's change the second number to 200. So everything's twice as big. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the end number, the end percentage down to whatever percent it is that will only be one letter and I think that's about eight percent. There we go. So zero and eight percent. Now let's start the keyframing for both the start and the end. And then let's drag this down to four. And now let's change the start and the end value. So end we want to be a hundred percent But the start, we want to be 8 less than 100, which is 92. So now the last letter is 200% tall. And that's Command S and press the space bar so we can see how that works. So that's kind of fun. And then on that last frame here, where they're both, just go a few beyond that and then we'll just change start to 100% too so it goes back to being normal size, just for fun. Okay, now we can add another animator for color to make it a little bit even more exciting. So, add property, fill color, and go to RGB. So, let's set a keyframe there for fill color, because you can set a keyframe for fill color. And then let's go to the next keyframe for start, which we would click on this triangle here goes to that next keyframe. And at this point, let's change this color to a blue. OK, 
okay? And then we'll go one more over to that other start keyframe and we can just go this to white so that everything's white again. Okay, command save that and let's press the space bar to see how that looks. So that's kind of fun. So stop that and just go ahead and command save. Okay.